Hi friends, in today's video we are going to look at 5 different types of renewable energy and sources. Friends, please see this video until the end because we have covered some important points about renewable energy. Friends, carbon footprints are increasing day by day and to reduce this and to prevent the further depletion of energy sources, we have to move to renewable sources of energy. Now, let's define renewable energy. Renewable energy comes from natural resources that are constantly replenished. That is, you using unlimited power of natural energy like the energy of sun, water, wind, sea and earth's core. Before starting the video, if you know, please tell the alternative na names of renewable energy in the comment box down below. Now, let's get moving with our first renewable energy. Solar energy. So, first question is, what is solar energy? Solar energy is conversion of sunlight into electrical energy or thermal energy or chemical energy. Secondly, let's, let's understand what is sunlight composed of. Sunlight is composed of 50% visible light, 45% infrared radiation, UV radiation and other electromagnetic radiation. Now, next question arises. Can we use solar energy directly as it is to convert into electrical or thermal energy? No, no, we can't because sun radiation is diffusely spreading across the earth and almost 54% heat is lost due to earth's atmosphere and clouds. So, how can we capture solar energy. We can capture solar energy by flat plate collectors, solar ponds which are salt water bodies, solar powered cooking pots and at last solar cells. Now what are flat plate collectors? Flat plate collectors are blackened metal plate covered with one or two sheets of glass panels and has tubes for carrier fluids. They can heat fluid up to 60 to 90 cel degree Celsius. What are solar cooking pots? These are devices made out of thin metal to cook food. They use parabolic reflections and concave mirrors for faster and efficient cooking. Friends, a very important point to remember. We have to use concave mirrors that reflect sunlight to focal points to capture solar energy efficiently. Now, moving to second form of renewable energy is wind energy. So, what is wind energy? Wind energy describes the process that uses wind to provide mechanical power to turbines connected to electrical generators for generation of electrical power. So, where wind turbines are located? 1. On land. 2. Offshore turbines. Offshore turbines has great potential for increased electrical generation because wind blows harder and uniformly offshore than on land. Currently, China and European Union are leading in wind energy. Almost 40% of electrical needs are obtained from wind energy. 
Now, what is hydro energy? It is a form of energy where power of water in motion like waterfall or fast running water used to generate electricity. Hydro energy means conversion of water's kinetic energy into electrical or mechanical energy. Do you know hydro power has been used since ancient times? Water we and water mills were used in saw mills floor mills and also in mining the power of flowing water was used to rotate the wheel and then run the saw mill or floor mill geothermal energy geothermal energy is the heat that comes from the rocks and hot springs underneath the earth's crust and can be found far down to earth's hot molten rock that is magma. So, to tap this form of energy, wells are dug deep underground to access steam and hot water. The power of steam and hot water is used to drive the turbine connected to the electrical generators. Do you know the geysers? In California, a geothermal energy plant with installed capacity of 1.5 gigawatts. Biomass Biomass is plant or animal material used as fuel to produce electricity or heat. Biofuels can be obtained from small wooden pellets, energy crops like corn, sugar canes, and bamboo, sewage, sludge, cow dung, and land fill gas. Formation of biofuels from biomass involves lots of chemicals and thermal conversions.